Happy April, everyone. As the sun shines a little brighter and the days grow longer, we're reminded that spring has arrived. City Council has been hard at work, making strides towards a better and brighter future for our community. Mayor Barbara Volk proclaimed April 22nd, 2023 as Earth Day in the city of Hendersonville. She is encouraging all community members to combat climate change and support green initiatives. The proclamation was presented to the Environmental Sustainability Board, which is hosting the first ever Hendo Earth Fest on Saturday, April 22nd, 2023 in downtown Hendersonville. This event will educate, entertain, and raise awareness of our need to protect the planet for future generations. In addition, the Environmental Sustainability Board presented its Sustainability Hero Award to Stormwater Manager Mike Huffman. This award celebrates a city employee or team who champions sustainability practices in Hendersonville and the surrounding community. The Hendersonville Fire Department was recognized for its outstanding achievement of receiving an ISO Class 1 rating. The ISO program evaluates a community's fire department equipment, staffing levels, water supply, communications, and other factors. The ratings range from Class 1 being the best to Class 10, which is not recognized as a fire department in North Carolina. By achieving an ISO Class 1 rating, the Hendersonville Fire Department has demonstrated exceptional fire protection capabilities, placing them in the top 2% of all fire departments in North Carolina and the top 1% nationwide. This rating not only reflects the department's strong commitment to public safety, but may also have a positive impact on the insurance rates in the community. Hendersonville businesses and residents can check with their insurance providers on if their premiums can be lowered due to the improvement in HFD's ISO rating. Congratulations on this impressive accomplishment. Also recognized were graduates of COA, the City of Hendersonville Academy. These individuals participated in six evening sessions to learn more about city operations and various departments, along with state government, budget, local growth, insurance, and additional topics. Other awards and recognitions can be viewed by watching the full meeting recording. Five public hearings were held during the meeting. A standard rezoning for upward crossing, two street closures for a portion of North Wall Street and a portion of Laws Avenue, an annexation of 7 Bridget Loop Road, and a resolution to approve installment financing for renovations to City Hall, City Operations Center, and to complete the 7th Avenue streetscape were all unanimously approved. The Tree Board submitted a set of recommendations to City Council aimed at bolstering the preservation of the tree canopy within the city. Additionally, Council was asked to approve the formation of a committee to potentially create a tree ordinance for the city. City Council approved a resolution to apply for a $9 million revenue bond to fund water and sewer projects, including Fleetwood Utility Improvement Project, Long John Mountain Property Acquisition for Future Water Infrastructure, Church Street Sewer Project, I-26 Utility Project, 2023 AMI Meter Project, North Fork Improvement Project, and a Vactor Truck. Making investments in the water and sewer system is an important commitment City Council has made to the customers and ratepayers in Hendersonville and surrounding areas. City Council closed out the meeting with Council comments and a closed session as permitted by law. Interested in learning more? The full meeting recording and agenda packet are available at hendersonvillenc.gov.